Mix Cedium Dental Extra Hard Putty. Cedium Dental's putty will give you extra working time over other putties as well as its resistance to heat and its strength. Use equal amounts of putty mixing until there is no marbleizing. Place the putty on the occlusal surface and work down over the buckle and lingual covering the clasp. Make sure you work the putty into all areas very well as to pick up all fine detail. When you have the putty in place, observe the red lines. Then estimate where the tip of the clasp is and indent down onto the base of the putty tool. Repeat mixing of the putty if creating two clasps. Make sure that the first putty matrix is fully set as not to move or warp it. Creating Sprue Hole Remove putty and drill a sprue hole from outside to inside using the number 8 2mm burr. Drill your sprue hole in through the indention of the putty tool and out through the other side trying to come as close as possible to the tip of the clasp. If you come out ahead of the clasp tip when drilling, that's okay. Just make a channel from the hole to the tip of the clasp. Make sure the channel is 2mm by 2mm. That is the size of the burr and it is important to keep everything 2mm by 2mm. Where the clasp joins the partial, drill a hole out through the putty, coming out on the lingual side. This creates a vent hole. Remove wax, oil out. With the putty matrix removed, boil off the wax from the model and partial. Make sure there is no wax remaining. Preheat. After removing all wax, place the matrix back on the model and place the assembly in a heating oven at... Once the timer beeps, have your model matrix assembly out of the oven. Time to inject. With the tip cleared of excess material, Engage the Hot Shot Elite gun tip into the preformed indented putty. Pull the trigger and hold for 5 seconds. If injecting a second clasp, follow the same procedure as the first clasp. Now that you are finished injecting, you need to expel the excess material onto a heat resistant surface. The reason for this is the material left in the gun can contaminate the new material at your next injection, therefore making the material weaker. Remove rod from gun immediately after injections. There will be little material that will be stuck on the rod once removed from the gun. When the rod cools, remove excess material. It will come right off. After material has cooled for about 5 to 10 minutes, section the matrix using a thin bladed knife. Cut a section with the knife, and using an instrument, pry off the pieces of putty. Do this until all putty is gone. Repeat on the second putty matrix. Here we have a completed injected clasp. Notice the button.